All right, morning the 27th. The night passed by peacefully. I'm all packed and ready to move out. Boys are still sleeping. But me, I am getting ready to move out and slowly make it back to the truck nursing my my hip and whatnot anyway beautiful morning crisp air uh, temperature is just right the only thing that takes away from this Id idyllic picture is the freaking mosquitoes yeah that's part of life the lake is just plain beautiful That noise in the background, that's the water rushing from the glacier. the windy side of the lake or downwind all these logs piled up well I've been hiking for about an hour now but the big climb is still ahead of me all right starting the climb that's gonna be a bear but there's no way around it so I'll have to conquer it well almost there not quite yet but right now I'll climb 300 feet and still have ways to go. Beautiful view from up here. The climb is conquered. I'm in a large opening. Yesterday, the wind was blowing pretty hard here. So when I was taking a break, mosquitoes was not, were not an issue, but <laughs> Today I'm, I took my shoes off and trying to relax for the remainder of the way, which should be easier. There's there's no significant uh, climbs anymore. As a matter of fact, the last uh, stretch, probably one third of the way, is all downhill. I'm not quite halfway yet. Um, probably about a quarter. So, there is still some walking to do, but um, this is what it looks like out here. I think I got some on the camera yesterday. Total climb was uh, just over 400 feet and uh, in very short distance, well, as the crow flies. But with all the switchbacks, uh, I have no idea. It felt <laughs> it felt long, but uh, yeah, 400 feet. It was uh, it was a bear. I'm glad it's not it's not hot yet because it would have probably made it even harder. But I had to stop so many times to catch my breath. Of course, uh, right now I'm at 10,300 something feet. Uh, so I started at around 900 and whatever it was.
course. Well, mother break. I think I'm about halfway there. I don't think I can keep up with a snail. But that's what happens when one is uh, out of shape. But the surrounding is just incredible. The glacier is over that way. ways to go. That's pretty interesting rock. Looks like it was cut by a human hand. It's almost like a cube. Well, I made it back in one piece and I'm uh, sitting and waiting for the boys to show up. I don't know if they decided to take extra time fishing or what, but it's already, let's see, 8 o'clock and they were supposed to be here well, we were, we were talking about meeting up at 4, so I'm hoping that they just they took their sweet time and nothing else is, uh, has happened. But anyway, um, <laughs> lesson for the future, and I, I mean, goodness, I, I've known it that, uh, you can't just get up and go and uh, on a big hike like this, and it is a big hike. Not so much the the miles. I think the round trip is uh, about 16 miles, but the terrain is uh, is uh, pretty difficult. So it's better to build the, build it up before. Uh, your stamina, you uh, stretch your muscles and get them uh, get them uh, from the jello condi condition to something that uh, will be able to take the task like this. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll uh, see you all in the next video. Bye.